Hello everyone, so today I am back with a new video on the occasion of Holi. So first of all, happy Holi everyone. Stay safe, play safe and do take precautions against COVID-19 because nothing is more important than life, right? And today rather than going out and exploring some new places, we are going to explore a very important uh, festival of Indian culture that is Holi. As we all know that each and every festival that we celebrate in India has a scientific reason behind it. Even Holi does. So as we know that after like Holi, we, summers get start and winters are almost towards end. Like they have ended actually. So uh, during this time, we have developed cough and many other things. Uh, many bacterial and virus infections in our body so while doing the Pradakshina of the bonfire holy bonfire we help our body to fight or to get rid of that cough and pit and everything so it is very important and very auspicious to uh, go there and have do the on the next day to lady that we say festival of colors but actually with the festival of colors it also had a scientific reasons that nature uh, traditionally the colors that were used were natural colors that are from flowers or from multani mitti which used to benefit our skin and today we are going to make a natural color from a flower which does not have various skincare benefits but also other Ayurvedic benefits uh, which I won't list out we will get to know on the internet and some Ayurvedic expert or some expert from medical background can explain you in a better way so let's get started with the video and here we have a box full of uh, flowers dried flowers my mom stores it for the whole year the fresh one are not good to store but this one, the dry one, we can store it for the whole year and use whenever we need. So this is how it looks, see, after it gets dried off. So we will take some of the flowers in a bowl and very little amount is enough to make a bucket full of colors so only this much we are going to use we'll add a fresh water to it and wash the flowers as, as they have been from outside so lots of dust and some insects or some bacteria can be there on them so we'll wash it properly with some water and here you can see only by adding a water we can see the color that is the orange one which the flower has already started emitting and there we drain off the excess water from the bowl here we are making instant color so we will boil our flowers in a bowl so here i have a bowl and i will add water to it only this much of water is enough thereafter we can add the prepared color into the bucket and get as much as we want so here I add the washed flowers and there it goes place it on the flame 10 to 15 minutes is enough for this flowers and you see how it is looking after getting cooked for 10 to 15 minutes so once it cools down we will separate water from flower and 
there we get our color in a liquid form a nice bright saffron color and we can store it in a bottle and use it on the day of the lady so we get this bright color once we cook our flowers properly but if we keep the flowers in the water we will get a light color like this i have kept it for 2 to 3 hours and this is what i get we can also use haldi if we don't have kesudo uh, at our place uh, for green color we can use uh, coriander leaves or palak leaf for other colors we can use other vegetables and there are several options available we can also go for edible food colors which are which are having some chemicals in it but it won't harm because it, they are edible right and anything which is edible is less harmful i think so yeah and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends if you find it informative like and comment down your views see you later bye bye